good morning girls uh, in the last session of j2 double e in gsp unit we covered some scripting elements right you can see all the uh, scripting elements listed on on the screen comments directive declaration scriptlet and expression these are the main script scripting elements available in gsp and in the second column how to define this uh, scriptlets in your jsp page the symbol the symbols are shown okay and we had gone through some examples also how to give a jsp comment right uh, we did two examples here uh, you can see how you can give a comment in your jsp page right then we also learn how to apply a scriptlet tag and go through the example also here you can see the example we give a title my first jsp page and we define a one variable and then uh, we printed a value of that variable through the scriptlet tag let us take one more example of scriptlet tag here on the screen you can see the scriptlet example of one more uh, scriptlet in this example we will create a simple gsp page which retrieve the name of the user from the request parameter as we have already learned in our servlet that how to get a request parameter right uh, in the same way you can uh, get the parameter whatever you define in your html page that we can get in our jsp page so in this example we are going to define a two pages first is index.html page uh, this will get the username from the user uh, through the client machine okay and one more page we will define uh, namely welcome.jsp through that page we will display a message with the user name right so let us begin our first requirement is to open netbeans ide go to file menu create your new project uh, from the category window choose web uh, java web and from the project window we'll select web application click on next this will ask you for a project name give an appropriate name to your project here i am giving jsp ex2 jsp x2 then uh, browse the project location for storing your uh, project right here in the f drive i want to store this project in j2 double e subfolder click on next and finish this will open a new window for you with a default page name index.jsp uh, you can use this page as well as if you want to create uh, your own page you can do it by clicking on project window and here you can see the example recently created right right click on web pages and click on new and select jsp in this way you can create your own jsp this is our default page whenever you create your new project you will get uh, a default page name index.jsp now i will use the same page for uh, creating my new jsp page right remove this comment portion i don't want this all the unnecessary codes will def, uh, remove from existing window here i don't want meta tag 
so I'm re removing it title page you can keep this tag as it is if you want right okay now now we will create one index.html page right go back to your NetBeans window and right click new and here we want to create HTML page the name is index.html no need to give an extension it will take itself click on finish this is our index.html page again you can remove unnecessary code from the default coding your head tag is over body tag begin and you can write your content in between the body tag so let us start here we want to define a uh, one form tag okay we'll set the action keep the action blank then take method method we will take post close it inside the form tag we will uh, create one text box this is a label and here I am going to create an input tag of type text type is text right I want to provide a text box for entering the username from my browser window uh, name is unm unm okay here the name is user now we'll provide one submit button input type equals to submit put type equals to submit and value equals to submit that's it now when you click on the submit button which JSP page you want to execute the name of that JSP page we will provide over here we'll set the action for example I want to execute welcome dot JSP here you have to give a name of your JSP with its extension right welcome.jsp I want to execute this page but I have yet not created this page so what is our next task is to create a welcome.jsp page in the same folder uh, go to your project folder web pages right click on web pages click on new and select JSP provide the name for your JSP page here we have already taken welcome welcome no need to give an extension over here click on finish expand your project folder here you can see welcome.jsp is created okay now you can remove index.jsp as it is not required for our project delete this page 
are you sure want to delete index.jsp yes we want index.html and welcome.jsp okay so this is our welcome.jsp page in this page we want to access the name sent by a user right in the servlet uh, we use request parameter to get this value now what we have to do if you want to if we want to get this parameter in our jsp page let us see as i told you that as i explained in the previous session that you can enclose your java code in a scriptlet tag right so we will use scriptlet tag for getting uh, the name of user entered through the html page first of all remove unnecessary code of scriptlet okay don't forget to keep your uh, java code in between this tags always do uh, remember now uh, inside this tag we will define a one variable of type string string user right here we will use request dot get parameter this method as you know that the function of this method request dot get parameter and whatever you write inside this pair of parentheses the value for that text box you will get over here so go to index.html here we want to get the value which uh, which is entered in the uname text box that we want to access in our jsp page right so here we will write u underscore nm this is a name of your text box which is available in index.html as you can see on line number 9 right if you are writing user over here accordingly do the changes here we will use user right whatever name you are using for your text box that you have to take as a parameter in get parameter method okay so this will return a value whatever entered by a user from the client browser in user variable now at the end of this line we will put semicolon as uh, this line is from java coding right so whatever you are doing in java code that we have to do over here right that this line will be treated as java code because it is enclosed in our scriptlet tags now in the body tag you can print the name of user okay you can print the print the name of user with the help of println method end of scriptlet out dot println out dot println method welcome
वेलकम यूजर ओके वे विल पुट दिस कोड आउटसाइड द बॉडी टैग Now let us execute our program by running index.html. For that you can go to your project folder, right click, and then you can click on Run. Or else, uh, the other way is right click on your editor window on a particular file that you want to run first. Here you can see GlassFS server is started and our project is running. Very soon uh, the deployment of project we can see in our browser. our index.html page as you can see the label we have given right in our html page name is a label enter the name when we click on the submit button action will be fired in the action we set a name of jsp page welcome.jsp this will be executed click on submit here you can see welcome krishna right uh, here you can see the message hello world so we want to remove it do some changes accordingly i don't want this okay and you can cut this lines from here and enclose this between h1 tag save your page and run it again index.html right click right click and run as you can see we have dum done some changes in our file and the output is in front of you yes here you can leave some space okay got it so this is an example of scriptlet tag right and this way you can set the parameter in your html page and with the help of uh, object of http request you can get all the parameters in your jsp page let me do some more changes password we are inserting one more field input type Type is password, right? And the name uh, is pw. Now I want to access this in my welcome.jsp. By doing some changes you can get the value of password field also here instead of user we will create a string type variable with name pw and a 
our argument is also pw as we have said the name of this field as pw right it is not compulsory to keep the name of this field and the name of this variable same this is not compulsory you can change it as per your desire Let us run our file. And click on submit button. Here you can see the output. Welcome, and your password is ABC XYZ. So in this way, you can get. Uh, whatever you are defining in your html page right that that all fills the value of all that fills you can get in your jsp page right now try to do yourself insert one address field in index.html then gender field okay and then try to access all that fills in your welcome.jsp let us take one more tag of jsp that is declaration tag we know that at the end of uh, jsp page is translated into its equivalent servlet class by web container so when we declare a variable or method in jsp inside declaration tag it means the declaration is made inside the servlet class but it is outside outside the service class service method you can declare a static member instance variable and method inside declaration tag here uh, you can see the syntax of declaration tag for that we add uh, an exclamatory mark exclamatory mark with the scriptlet tag right in this way you can uh, whatever you write in between this tag um, that variable will be declared as your static variable okay let us take an example of this tag go to your netbeans window project will create one more web page jsp page this is our example number 4 click on finish and here we have a one default page default coding right we remove all these lines remove meta tag as we have already done this program in previous session we are doing this once again right exactly below the head tag we will declare one variable with name count of type integer and will initialize that variable with zero integer count count equals to 0 I want to set 0 and semicolon right now inside the body tag what I will do uh, I will just give a label page count is page count is then your scriptlet tag will go here I will print out dot println 
into bracket I will write plus plus count okay plus plus count and semicolon out dot print and plus plus count semicolon body tag over body tag over and html tag over this is a coding of our example 4 let me run this page directly for that right click and click on run file let us see the output here it is showing page count is 1 as you can see the output right it is showing page count is 1 now refresh this page we'll get we will get the same result page count is 1 one more time refresh it again we got the same result now as i told you that it is declared as a static variable but it is not changing its value why because this is not considered as a static variable for that you have to do exclamatory mark over here okay now this is our declaration tag as you can see here in the syntax of declaration tag now uh, the variable count will be treated as a static member right save your file and run it one more time now you can see the result page count is 1 now refresh your page Okay. Now as you come to know that this variable is now treated as a static variable right whenever you click on the uh, refresh pin, uh, address bar this will change the value of count because here we have already taken plus plus count this will change the value of count by 1. So here now you understood the difference between a static and normal variable right if you are not doing this exclamatory mark this variable will be treated as a normal variable and if you are doing this exclamatory mark over here this will be treated as a uh, static member or instance variable and method inside declaration tag okay uh, this will be outside the service method this will come outside the service method and as you know that uh, during the life cycle of servlet the init method executes only once and service method execute so many times so you can see the effect now the above jsv page become the servlet if you want to your define uh, if you want to define the same program through the servlet you can see the code hello jsp is a name of class which is declared as public and it extends http servlet right your uh, integer count is declared and 0 is assigned to this variable here you can see the JSP service method instead of that you can take your service method which will have a two objects of HTTP servlet request and one object of HTTP servlet response which can throw the IO exception and servlet exception then you can define one object of print writer class here we have defined one object with name out out then set the content type response dot set content type textless html we want to begin our html tag so html and body 
then out dot write page count is this is our label as I told you that in the servlet you can embed your HTML code in out method in write method or println method right then plus plus count this will print a value of count on your browser then end of body tag at last end of HTML tag see our JSP page is translated to the servlet by the web container right that's why here you can see that JSP service method is taken you can do the same program by servlet also try it yourself right now in the next session we will cover directive tag which has three uh, three type of tags page directive include directive and tag lib directory will uh, understand this terms with the help of example okay see you in the next session uh, till then thank you